Good afternoon, Reverend Father Rector, Father Gerda Swami, our Reverend Father Principal, Dr. Dominic Sagio, and our distinguished guest of, guest of the day, Honorable Minister in Charge, Department of Higher Education and School Education, Government of West Bengal, Shubhrata Goshu. Good afternoon, respected Vice Principals, faculty members, and students. On behalf of St. Xavier's College Autonomous Kolkata, I welcome you to the book launch event of the book titled Transforming Our World Together Towards Sustainable Development, edited by Reverend Dr. Dominic Savio, Dr. Shomra Troy, and Dr. Shashati Chodri, published by Cambridge Scholars Publishing, UK. Now let us begin with the welcome song by Professor Vashvi Rajgupta. Thank <laughs> you. 
Islam for this melodious prayer. St. Xavier's, a Christian minority higher education institution, was established in 1860 by the Society of Jesus, a Catholic minority religious body, and was affiliated to the University of Calcutta in 1962. The have a long and fruitful history of accomplishment in education, and our college community continues to advance together with assurance, pride, and excitement. This institution was founded with the intention of delivering a comprehensive, high-quality education that would inspire students to pursue extracurricular, co-curricular, and leadership endeavors in addition to excelling academically. The college is still continuously growing and developing thanks to a very skilled, successful, and committed staff of educators. It is with the intention of commemorating 160 years of this institution that the idea of this book comprising articles written by several academicians was mooted by father. It is with great honor and pride that I now introduce the chief guest of this book launch event, the Honorable Minister in Charge, Higher Education and School Education Department, Government of West Bengal, Shri Bhatto Boshu. Shri Boshu graduated in Bengal, uh, in Bengal from the Presidency College and completed the post-graduation from the University of Calcutta. An actor, stage director, playwright, film director, professor and politician, he has also been the Education Minister of West Bengal since 2021. In May 2016, he was assigned the portfolios of Tourism, Science Technology and Biotechnology, Information Technology and Electronics. He is presently the chairperson of Postchimbongo Bangla Academy and Minerva Natka Shamskriti Chorsa Academy under the govern governance of the Department of Information and Cultural Affairs, West Bengal. We feel all the pri more privileged to have him among us because of his notable contributions in the fields of literature and academics as he is the recipient of numerous awards and recognitions. In 2021, Shri Boshu has been conferred with the Shahidta Academy Award for outstanding works of literature. He has backed several other awards and recognitions, including the Shombu Mitra Shambhar 2016, Shreshtha Natka Nirman 2017, Khaled Chodhuri Shambhar 2017, Shilpayan Shambhar 2017, Shumati Shengupta Shriti Shambhar 2019, Dronacharya Shambhar 2019, and the prestigious Shokten Mitra Shriti Purushkar awarded by the Theatre Workshop in 2001, 2003, 2004, and 2017 for his exemplary contribution in Bengali theatre. He has written multiple books, including two no novels, Odamrita Katha and Dudokrida. Having made numerous additions to Bengali literature in the form of books written, translated, as well as edited, uh, he is a scholar both in theatrical and literary community. His noted plays include Aurunade, Shahor Yad, Virus M, Winkle Twinkle, Rutho Shongit, Chodushkun, Himmler, the, princess, uh, the Prince of Koronata, Krishna Bahobar, Shateroi Judai, Bikele Bhurir Shoshefud, and many others. He has also directed four films, Rasta, Tista, Tara, and Dictionary, and acted in many films such as Kalbala, Itche, Stanyo Shambhar, Himmler Society, Mukta Thana. I now request Father Rector to felicitate the Chief Guest, Dato Boshu, with a bouquet. I also request Father Rector to felicitate Father Principal with a shawl. Now, although Father requires no introduction, 
I would like to take this opportunity to once again formally introduce Father and his academic credentials in front of this August gathering. Father received his PhD in economics from Burdwan University and his primary areas of research are international economics, international trade and econometrics. Apart from being our principal, Father is also the president of St. Xavier's College Calcutta Alumni Association and has also been the rector of St. Xavier's community, college and school. St. Xavier's College staff and students have been privileged to be in association with Father since the year 2000 when he joined this college as a professor of economics. From being the vice principal, Father took charge as a principal of St. Xavier's College Autonomous Kolkata in 2017. Father is also a governing body member of the International Association of Jesuit Universities and Colleges across the world, St. Xavier's University Kolkata and of XIM University Bhubanesha. Father Dominic Savio has set incredible standards in the fields of economics through his valuable publications in both national and international journals. His contributions to the education sector have made him receive great honours. He has received the prestigious Maulana Abul Kalam Azad Award in 2017, the Award of Excellence in Education and Philanthropy in 2018, the Bharat Vidya Ratna Award in 2018, the Asia Pacific International Educational Award in 2019, and finally, the prestigious Shiksha Ratna Award by the Department of Higher Education, West Bengal, in 2021. <laughs> Father is one of the principal editors of Transforming Our World Together Towards Sustainable Devo Development. I wholeheartedly congratulate Father on his new publication and now invite him to welcome his delivery address. Thank you very much. Very good evening to all of you. Our beloved professor, Dr. Basu, Honorable Minister in Charge, Higher Education and School Education Department, Government of West Bengal, Reverend Father Rector, Dr. Sasuti Chowdhury, Dr. Sabra Roy, all the distinguished professors, deans, vice principals, students, reverend fathers, and all our alumni members. I see them in large, very big. And being a working there, I could see, I can see so many people are coming. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the launch of the book titled Transforming our world together towards sustainability. Essays in honor of 160 years of St. Xavier's College, Kolkata. It is delayed because, you know, it's because due to pandemic, since it was printed in UK. I am delighted to have partnered with Cambridge College Publishing UK in producing this invaluable resource. Today we celebrate the achievements of our college and its impact on society in the form of this remarkable publication. The motivation behind this book is rooted in the recognition of the deep and irreversible change that we need to achieve through social progress. This book is a significant testament to the core values of our institution, which has been committed to providing quality education for the past 163 years. It's a matter of immense pride for us to have contributed towards highlighting the urgent need for the world to embrace sustainable development and collectively take action towards a better future. I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude, as I said, our beloved Professor Prakta Basu, Honorable Minister in Charge Higher Education and School Education Department, Government of West Bengal, for his esteemed presence today. He doesn't go out that easily, but today he has made an exception and he is with us because he loves St. Xavier's. 
I know you personally. We thank Professor Bretta Basu for being a good friend of each and every one of us. I have met him few times in his office in um, Vigas Bhavan. He was always welcoming, always listening. I would like to tell you, not only for St. Davies, Jesuits are working in Kuli district, Burwan district, where we have started primary school higher education. With this request, once I met a professor, we think he readily called the people and they sanctioned. We have, when you go sometime, among the tribals, we have good two schools. One in Pandua, one in Gura, another one is Bankura. It is because of this initiative we were able to get recognition for all the schools and many tribal students are benefiting. So in a special way, let us put our hands together with generosity. With our generosity so that many of our tribal children are able to study in these places. The concept of sustainable development is of paramount importance in today's world. And it is our responsibility as global citizens to ensure its practice. Through this book, we hope to encourage individuals, organizations and governments to work towards achieving sustainable development as we strive to preserve our planet for future generations. We must recognize that transformation is necessary to ensure a sustainable future for all. Our planet is facing unprecedented challenges that threaten our very existence. Poverty, injustice, discrimination, among others, continue to result in systematic violence against men, women and children. This has led to a disturbed world where refugees, migrants, the internally displaced and the economically, socially and religiously marginalized are multiplying. This book is a call to action to recognize the challenges we face and the role we can play in addressing them. It provides us with a roadmap to tackle these challenges through economic, social and political transformation. In this context, the world, the words of the Chair of the World Commission on Environment Development, Gro Harlem Brandland, are especially relevant. I quote, Sustainable development is the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to make to be their own needs. This quote beautifully encapsulates the essence of the book we are launching today. This book is a result of the collective efforts of professors, scholars and students who have contributed essays on policies that would help transform the world for a better place to live in. The multi-dimensional approach adapted in this book is centered on issues and challenges rather than on sectoral and administrative boundaries. The essays contain this volume on a reflection of our collective efforts to create more just and equitable world, where every individual can thrive without compromising the needs of future generations. This book's themes are organized under the five P's enshrined in the Sustainable Development Goals, people, planet, prosperity, peace and partnership, which are pillars that are interconnected and need to be integrated whenever dialogues on operational activities for developments are in initiated. The 25 articles included in the book are arranged in the thematic approach under six headings and only to literary and historical context, education and media for transformation, security and governance, finance, international trade and economic development, gender and social transformation and environment and sustainability. Each essay is not only a valuable contribution to our understanding of the challenges we face and the solution we can adopt, but also reflects 
the diversity of perspectives and approaches required to create a sustainable world. The contributors have focused on the concept of transformation in development economics. Although the topic of economic transformation and structural change has always been a critical part of economic development, it is now attracting renewed attention in economic policy, discussions and academia. Changes in economic, social and political dimensions may take place simultaneously and are interrelated. Social transformation refers to individuals and altering their social status, a large scale changes in the social system as in cultural reforms. Political transformation refers to thorough changes related to the government or public affairs of a country. Good governance is an important factor in ensuring sustainable and inclusive development. Therefore, this book aims to constitute a unique for multidimensional economic, social and policy analysis on transforming the world. We believe that this book will be an excellent resource for policy makers, academicians, students and anyone interested in sustainable development, thereby inspiring our leaders to work towards a sustainable future for all. I would like to extend my warmest thanks to my co-editors, Dr. Samra Rai, Dr. Saswati Chaudhary, for their unwavering efforts and invaluable contributions to the editing of this book. Their expertise and dedication have been indispensable in ensuring that this publication upholds the high academic standards of our esteemed college. I would also like to express my heartfelt appreciation to all the contributors who have dedicated their time and effort towards this project. Your commitment to sustainable development and social progress is a testament to the enduring legacy of academic excellence that our college stands for. The insights and recommendations provided in this book are a valuable resource that will inspire and guide generations to come in their pursuit of creating a better world. We would like to once again thank our esteemed guests for gracing us with this presence today. To all the faculty members, alumni and our dear students, thank you for joining us today in launching the book and celebrating our commitment to create a better tomorrow. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you. for your illuminating remarks. Now, I would uh, request our chief guest, Shibata Boshu, to officially unveil the book and share his valuable insights of the same. Hey, And our fellow citizen 
of the city. Very good of them. First of all, I would like to thank you, Father Dominic Sargu, Principal St. Hughes College, for inviting me to this book, prestigious book launch. It goes without saying that St. Hughes College, or NOMAS, one that has always include, inculcated <laughs> an academic spirit in the students and molded generations of academicians, professionals, leaders, and most importantly, responsible citizens. We can observe how systematic violence against any kind of human, men, women, and, and children, defeat results from extreme poverty, injustice, discrimination, and repression. The core of development work is the transformation of economics, which can only occur from a profound and lasting shift that advances society. In development economics, the idea of transformation is not new. Although economic transformation and structural change have always been important aspects of economic development, they are currently receiving more attention in academic circles and in discussions of economic policy. In the uh, 1980s, when we were pretty young, the concept of sustainability became broadly known and understood as a practice of balancing the environment, society and economics uh, and economics in a way that could meet the needs of present populations without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. For many people, sustainability uh, came to represent the uh, actions required to ensure their current standard of living could be maintained or improved while ensuring a comparable, if not better standard for the next generation. This way of thinking has come all at the expense of the environment and ecological system. Unfortunately, after three decades of uh, effective sustainability, understanding and action, societies are, are taking uh, then the need, especially from our, our, our nature, our nature, surrounded by certain nature near every time, and not giving enough for future generations. Most societies have developed systems that are not able to maintain sustainable trajectories. The current patterns of production and consumption are not sustainable and must be changed for our own welfare and that of our future generations. Human health and the environment are instinctive uh, link uh, interacted, amal amalgamated with each other, yet we carry uh, on a business as usual, guided by unrealistic uh, notions of infinite economic development and growth that ignores the reality that we live on a planet with finite resources. This book focuses on policies which transform the world by promoting inclusion and sustainable development. Father focused particularly on the uh, five pillars uh, enshrined in the sustainable development goals, which are pillars that are uh, interconnected and need to be uh, integrated whenever dialogues on operational activities for development are, uh, are initiated. Twenty-five articles have been included in this book. As I see, the book are adapted, a uh, thematic approach has been adapted and the papers are arranged under the following headings. One, an ode to literary and historical context. Two, education and media for transformation. Three, security and governance. Four, finance, international trade and economics development. Five, gender and social transformation. 
6. Environment and Sustainability. As I read through the book, I came across various articles focusing on the concept of transformation in post-colonial literature, which, which is linked, linked to the issue of identity formation, relationship between transforming in the transformational leadership and organizational innovations in the context of management education, movements with societal significance that are multidimensional and multi -layered. Uh, the Me Too movement, multicultural governance in the Indian context, the impact of trade in service on, in, uh, on, on income uh, insecurity, border, border hats between India and Bangladesh, which uh, seek to re-establish the traditional system of marketing among those people. The gender pay gap in the Indian labor market, influence of uh, social movements in the context of environmental concern and many more. Hence, it is with great joy and honor that I know declare and I, 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 we, we have already launched uh, the book Transforming Our World Together Towards Sustainability, edited by our respected father, Dominic Savio, and Shamra Pry, uh, Sasha Chok, published by Cambridge Scholars, publishing to Father's Day. Uh, it, was, uh, it was nearly postponed. Uh, because due to uh, COVID pandemic uh, 2020, you know, but better late than never, uh, the book uh, has come at the launch, and I personally congratulate the editors who have uh, 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 religiously and, and very uh, efficiently selected the articles from diverse disciplines and strung them together to keep up a uh, common tune. I wish uh, our, our, our beloved respected father and co-editors, his co-editors, and all their contributors, the best of luck, and I'm certain this is going to be a highly successful and treasured publications all around the world. And, our, and, and, and lastly, when Father Said, he has said a couple of good things about me, uh, which actually not correct. <laughs> I thought you would like to say that when we go, we are going to reach this chamber, always welcome us, always listening, always inviting the fights and unfortunately doing nothing. But you didn't you say that. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for the Thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, for your insightful and valuable comments. I would now like to call upon another editor of the book, Dr. Shashwati Chaudhuri. Associate Professor, Postgraduate and Research Department of Economics, St. Xavier's College, Autonomous Kolkata, to share her insights on the book and the laborious editing process they have to undertake. A very good evening to the dignitaries present today. Our Honorable Minister in Charge of Higher Education and School Education, Government of West Bengal, Sri Bhakta Bosu. Father Rector, Reverend Father Jairaj Swami, Father Principal, Reverend Dr. Dominic Savio, my co-editor, Dr. Shomarat Roy, and all those present here in this August gathering. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to witness this occasion. We are extremely honored and humbled by this elite gathering. I'll start with a small quotation by Yukio Mishima, a Japanese author of the Temple of the Golden Pavilion. Now, the name of our book is Transforming the World. What transforms this world? It is only one thing, that is knowledge. Do you see what I mean? Nothing else can change anything in this world. Knowledge alone is capable of transforming the world, while at the same time, living it exactly as it is. When you look at the world with knowledge, you realize that things are unchangeable and at the same time are constantly being transformed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my greatest honor to welcome all of you for the launch of our book, Transforming Our World Together Towards Sustainable Development. This book was originally designed to be an effort for having a collection of essays in honor of 
160 years of St. Xavier's College, Kolkata. However, the pandemic delayed the whole process, and at last, in 2023, the volume has seen the light of the people. This book has been a labor of sheer hard work and commitment of all our contributors, and we could not be more grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, every time a book of writing makes it into the world, an individual, a society, or a nation is given a voice. Upholding this virtue, our motive was to put forward ideas and far-reaching policies that would help transform the world to make it a better place to live in. With abject poverty, suppression, inequality and injustice taking over all spheres of life, the need of the hour is a comprehensive discussion on steps that are necessary to harmonize the four elements comprising of economic growth, social inclusion and environmental protection. The transformation of economies and attainment of socially defined goals are authentically captured via this collection of research articles. Our book deals with the six facets of the transformative process. As has already been said before, we have six sections in this book and all the chapters have been uh, categorized under these different sections. I would like to thank Reverend Father Dr. Dominic Savio, whose unending zeal and commitment has finally brought our vision to fruition today. Reverend Father Dr. Dominic Savio participated in the assembly of the International Association of Jesuit Universities, where leaders of 300 higher educational institutions had gathered and navigated through global priorities for their institutions in today's world. Father was deeply inspired by the theme of the assembly and thus gauging the profound implications these discussions could have, he invited scholars from our institute to amalgamate transformative ideas for the real world economies which are plagued by several problems. This book is thus a testimony to the passion and perseverance which drives scholars and academicians to change the world with their vision. And it is in this regard that I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all the contributing authors of this book, whose pioneering ideas will pave the way for enlightened debates and erudite discussions for a sustainable world. I would now take this opportunity to thank every single author of the chapters in this edited book. Uh, I'll just be calling now the name of the chapters and the contributing authors. The first one, under section one, we do have two authors with us and two chapters. The first one is by Professor Chandran Vishwas, The Politics of Transformation, a reading in the ideology of self-fashioning in Gucci Emigitas, Destination Biafra, and Alice Walker's The Color Purple. The second chapter is by Shuchandana Bhattacharya, Professor Shuchandana Bhattacharya. Change is the only way ahead towards selfhood, rereading the poems and memoirs of Maya Angelou. Section 2, under section 2 we have an uh, article by Dr. Shivaji Banerjee, Shauna Roy, Gaurav Gandhi and Abhijit Mani. The name of their paper is Perceptions of Management Educators towards the influence of transformational leadership on organizational innovation. The second article is by Professor Sherlock Simpson Vegas, uh, Education for Transformation, a descriptive profile of the students in Jesuit institutions of the Calcutta province. We have another article by Professor Pinni Goswami, Education for All, an inclusive endeavor to enlighten the self and the other through a social movement. The next article is by Professor Shobhishta Jha, Social Media and Collective Awareness. In the next section of Security and Governance, our first article under this section is by Professor Farhad Banu, Militarization and Alienation in Kashmir. And then the next one is by Professor Jhumpa Mukherjee, 
Making a difference by managing differences. Multicultural governance in India. The next one is by Professor Panjali Singh, Recasting Peace. <laughs> Section 4 deals with finance, international trade and economic development. Here the first article is by Professor Shaheli Ghosh, Sustainability and Financial Inclusion to Mutual Funds. The next article, I don't think they're here, Manisha Vaishnavi Patnayak, Tanaya Shah, Shah Audrija Shah and Catherine Sunil. It's on trading services and income inequality within the middle class, a statistical elucidation. The next article is by Professor Indranil Bose, Mending Fences with Neighbors, Border Hearts Between India and Bangladesh. The next article is by Hirok Jyoti Boshak and Shejuti Pardokar, Monetary Policy, Wage Indexation and the Macroeconomy of a Developing Country, a Theoretical Analysis. The next one is by Professor Shomi Bhattacharya and Dr. Shomran Roy, Migration in the Asian and Pacific Economics. And nonetheless, the, the article is by Ranjanendra Narayanag and Shishobhan Mahata, Child Labor, Students and Policies. Section 5 focuses on gender and social transformation. We have the first article here by Professor Unalika Banerjee, Women's Empowerment in India, Achievements and Challenges. Then the next article is by Professor Pia Ghoshal, The Economic Empowerment of Women in India, The Need for Transformation. The next article is by Professor Shukarna Shorthill, Gender Gap and Social Cultural Influences, A Study of the Indian Labor Market. And the next one is by Professor Shoma Choudhury Lahiri, Addressing Precarity, Social Movements, Public Policy and Social Transformation. The last section deals with Environment and Sustainability. The first article here is by Akriya Sarkar, Vedaparna Roy, Riddhi Basu, Anindita Ardhu and Varun Kumar Mitra on Sustainable Use of Last Furnace West Towards a Better Future. The next article is again by Professor Oruk Mitra along with Puja Ogimotri, Shikeshna Shantokri, Mohamita Moitra and Demandrana Shemukto, Low-Cost Arsenic Mitigation by plant micro interaction. And the last article is by Professor Shona Roy and Professor A. Xavier, Ecological Enterprise of St. Xavier's College, Kolkata towards energy and water on this case. Finally, I would like to thank Mr. Adam Rumans of Cambridge Scholar Publishing for being there with us and guiding us through several hurdles during the pandemic process. Once again, thank you all for dressing this occasion. We could not have done this without your support. Thank you. Thank you all for this insightful reflection on the editing process and the contributions of all those involved. I would now like to call upon Dr. Shomra Troy, Assistant Professor and Coordinator of PhD Programs, St. Xavier's College Autonomous Kolkata, to deliver the vote of thanks. A warm good evening to all and all present here. Sri Bhaktu Basu, Honorable Minister in Charge, High Education and School Education, Government of West Bengal, Reverend Father Rector, Reverend Father Jairus Swami, Reverend Dr. Dominic Savio, Father Principal, Centralist College, Dr. Shashwati Chaudhary, Associate Professor, Postgraduate and Research Department of Economics, Centralist College, and all the distinguished guests present here. It has been a privilege and an honor for me to be involved as an editor of the book Transforming Our World Together Towards Sustainable Development published by Cambridge Scholars Publishing. The list of people involved in the process of composing this book goes on and on. Each of their contributions is significant in their own way. The book and the launch event today would not have come to fruition if even a single cog in the will went missing. Please excuse me if I miss out anyone as I now propose the vote of thanks. On behalf of the editors of the book and Sensibius College, I'd like to extend my heartfelt thanks to Sri Bhakta Basu, Honorable Minister in Church, Higher Education, Spiritual Education, Government of West Bengal, for launching this book. 
being the Honorable Minister of Interior, Higher Education and School Education, Government of West Bengal, his support signifies the academic integrity and the rigor of this publication. Thank you, sir, for your presence. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to our Father Rector, Reverend Father Jairus Veliswami, for his continuous inspiration and support. I would also like to express my deepest gratitude to our Father Principal, Reverend Dr. Dominic Savio, for his unmatched encouragement and his paramount contribution to this book. Has already been mentioned by Dr. Shashpati Choudhury about the origin of the theme and evolution of this concept of sustainable development because it goes back to the International Association of Jesuit Universities where 300 higher institutions have participated. And there was an urgent priority basically to take up the need for peace, the need for security, the need for good governance across the world, that is across the global order. And taking up this mission, being a participant in the assembly, referred for the Dr. Dominic Serbi was deeply moved and inspired by the theme and decided to come up with inviting the scholars, academicians from his institute to ponder and write research articles so that it can lead to a sustainable transformation of the world in a collective manner. He is one of the principal editors of the book and it is him whose inimitable efforts led to the synthesis of his academic work into this publication volume. Thank you further for your constant support. Being one of the editors of the book, I would like to collectively thank all the contributors who are the esteemed faculty members of this institution for sharing their research insights and making it a very erudite volume. I would like to thank all the faculty members, research scholars, students, and other members who are present in this office gathering. I would like to thank especially the proactive alumni members for their unparalleled efforts in ensuring that every aspect of this event goes smoothly. I would like to thank Father David for arranging refreshments for the day, and it will be remiss if I do not mention the following names, Ms. Monica Shetri from the Principal's Office, Mr. Vijay Nair, Mr. Shujit Chandra, Mr. Narayan Sarkar, and I thank them for helping me every minute in making the logistic details of this event. Finally, we would like to thank our MC, Arjun Radhartan, who was an MSc student in the postgraduate and Department of Economics, for making a very good presentation and also helping with the other integrators. So, finally, we have come to the end of this book launch event and we thank all of you for your gracious presence. Thank you, everyone. As we have now reached the end of the book launch event, I would again like to thank all those present here for being a wonderful audience. Uh, refreshments have been arranged for at the main part of We request you to kindly make your way there. And I now request you to rise as a dignitary speaker.